Let's take a minute and get familiar with the part setup and tool setup screens within the control. Two screens that you're going to use for every setup and program that you create. Here we see a snapshot of the part setup or work offset screen. There are 99 work offsets within the control. 10 through 99 can be accessed by hitting the page down button repeatedly and that will take you to the next group of 10 and so on. We select which active offset that we want to use for a particular program by simply making sure that correct number, offset number, is in the active offset uh, field that we see there in the upper right of the screen. Now basically the Z offset is just a measured distance from the back of the chuck or the face of the spindle, that mounting surface where the chuck mounts to the spindle itself, measured out to the front of the part. In the example there you see 11 inches. That would mean that from the back side of the chuck or the mounting surface of the spindle face it's 11 inches to the face of the part. So that's what that number indicates. Secondly you see that there, all of the X offsets are grayed out. We cannot make any changes in the X offset unless we uh, check the box that says X offset. If you need to put something in there uh, perhaps your turret has been knocked out of alignment um, you need to, for whatever reason, offset a drill or something that you know that you need to move off of zero in the X direction. You can simply check that box and that will open up those fields to be able to accept a value. The tool setup screen. Here we see the main tool setup screen. This is where we're going to determine what the tool number is, what station that particular tool number is in. Just because we have Tool 1 doesn't mean it has to be in Station 1. And the next time we run this job, Tool 1 may actually be in Station 5, so we can simply change the station number. The type, we pick what type of tool this is. We have turning tools, uh, drills, chamfer tools, many different things that we can select underneath that type. And you can put a comment for the operator if he uh, needs to put something in there for himself. And we can see the speeds and feeds information, the depth of cut, the insert shape, and then the insert side and size and lead angle. For cutter compensation, we see the uh, orientation here. When we go to the tool geometry offset page, this is where the actual lengths of the tools will be stored. As we touch a tool off, both the X and Z fields will be populated by information. You see that we also can put the radius, corner radius information in the table here as well. And then we see the icon for the orientation. This is simply the direction that the tool would approach the part. Um, for example, the bottom left corner would be for a turning tool. The upper left corner would be for an ID tool, boring tool or so forth. A uh, drill might be the right hand column center pointing straight at the chuck and threading tools would be something like the center of the bottom row or the top row that just points straight up or down whether it be an ID tool or uh, outside diameter threading tool.